Kayla here with Max Doodles. Today I'm going to be showing you how I like to distress flannels. There is a bunch of different ways that you guys can distress flannels, but I'm going to show you the way that I like to do it. Um, this is the one I'm going to be making today. It is a um, military green and black plaid flannel that I got from Walmart. Um, I put a big spot here in the middle where then I then put a design on with HTV and then I ombre it at the bottom, and then you can see the different splotches that I put. So this is the one I'm gonna be showing you how to make today. So let's get started. On the bottom, I wanted it to be very kind of ombre effect. So I'm gonna saturate the bottom and kind of working my way up. And then of course I'm gonna do right in the middle um, where the design's going to go. So um, I'm just gonna start down here. I have my spray bottle on mist. So really fine mist, and I'm gonna start at the bottom. Just do a nice line down the bottom, working my way up a little bit, and then I'm going to pull up away from the shirt for this line, and then again I'm going to come up higher, pulling the spray bottle back is what creates that ombre effect, and then for this last one where I'm about halfway up the shirt, I'm standing up completely spraying down and then I'm just gonna come over here and do the same to the sleeves on each side so starting really close as I go up the sleeve I'm working my way up same thing I'm about halfway up and I come up all the way okay same thing over here starting really close and pulling up as I go up the sleeve. Okay, so I'm going to let this process for a few minutes. Um, I want to see what it does before I add any more bleach. And once it gets to where I have decided what my next step is going to be, I will come back and show you guys what it ends up as. Okay, so this is what it's starting to look like. And I'm going to go ahead and add um, this spot in the middle where the design's going to go. So I'm just going to Keep it on mist and spray in a circle right here in the middle. And then I think I'm gonna come back and just spray over the each part of these one more time. Doing the same thing. Just moving away from the shirt as I go move up it. And my bottle has been on mist this entire time. And then the same over here. Okay, so it's still cloudy. I was hoping that the sun would kind of move away from under the clouds, but haven't had any luck yet. So I'm going to let this sit a little longer. It is turning white so I think it's just going to take a little bit longer because it is still pretty hot out um it looks like the sun might actually make a peak right now so I'll let this sit a little longer you can see it's starting to process in the middle where I'm putting the design and um I will come back after it starts changing a little bit more Okay, so I've let this sit for like five minutes or so, and you can see that it's starting to process. Um, I'm going to miss a little bit more in the middle to get it to be more white since I want my design. I'm going to get closer this time and kind of make that more defined right there in the middle. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some more of these dots. So you can see that it did it on the mist, but I want a bunch more for this design. So. If you haven't seen me do this before, what I do is I have the bottle barely open and I hold it parallel to the ground and then you squeeze until you get a little dot. Okay, so that's where I want it and now I'm just going to go and do that around the shirt where I want it. So again, parallel to the ground and squeeze until you get dots and that's how I manually add dots of bleach where I want them to be. You don't have to do this if you don't like it. You do whatever you like. I like it because it adds a little something extra. I'm just 
just gonna do that around. I'm gonna pull the collar out a little bit and get some up here too. Well, I'm going to again let this sit for a little bit. I won't make this video really long by watch, making you guys watch the whole process. But once it gets to where I want it next, I will come back and show you what I do next. Okay, guys, so this is after I let it sit for about five, ten more minutes. Um, all I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little bit more here in the middle to try to get this a little bit wider. And then down here, I'm just going to do a little bit more to see if I can get a little bit wider down here, too. And then I think I'm going to do a little bit up here on the collar as well. Not a lot. Just missed it a little bit. And then after that, that should be good, and I should be able to flip it to the other side and do the front. So I will come back, and I'll show you what this looks like, and then I'll flip it to the front and show you what I do for that. Okay, so this is the back and I'm pretty happy with it. So I'm gonna flip it over to the front and do the front. Um, the front, I'm just basically gonna do the same thing I did to the bottom here and then probably add a little bit to the top as well. So let me get this flipped up. Okay, so now the front, I'm just gonna do the same thing I did starting at the bottom. I'm just gonna do this really quick. And then the same with the sleeves. And then up at the top. I'm not gonna do too much at the top, but I am gonna get some light squirts in. Okay, and I'm gonna let that sit. Okay, so here's the final product on the front. It's completely dry. It's pretty much how I want it. I wanted this one to be just like a subtle ombre nothing too crazy so now what I do is I spray it with a 90% water 10% peroxide mixture to help neutralize the bleach and then I rinse it in hot water this one is for me so I will just go ahead and wash it and then I'll put the uh, vinyl design that I decide on this one um, if I'm making this for anybody else all I do is rinse it I don't put any kind of detergent or anything because I don't want to um, mess with anybody if they like sensitivities or anything like that so Okay guys, and that is the tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. If you do try to follow this technique, I'd love to see anything that you guys come up with, so post that below. If you liked this video, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe so you don't miss anything else. Um, I'm trying to put out multiple videos a week for you guys, and if you have any suggestions on things that you would like to see, um, DIY, tutorial, or anything, let me know in the comments below. And if you would like to purchase the mom shell design, I do have that available for purchase for commercial use in my store, maxdoodles.com, as well as purchasing this flannel. And I will link those in the description box below. If you have any questions, feel free to comment and I will see you guys next time.